of San Domingo lived a gal named Obajingo. Cast from Reconstructing History here, and uh, here to talk to you about the 1920s. Because guess what? This Saturday is the Jazz Age on the Delaware Party. This Saturday at the Glen Ford Mansion. Go look it up, Jazz Age on the Delaware. You can Google it, it's fun. Um, we're going, and I have nothing to wear. Okay, I have plenty of things to wear, but I have nothing to wear that's actually appropriate for an afternoon garden party, and the thing ends at five. So I can't wear any of my beaded 20s flapper gowns because it's not appropriate, and I can't do that. So lucky thing is the 1920s are this crazy period where you can throw together a dress in an hour and the dress you throw together in an hour isn't going to look like you threw it together in an hour because frankly the clothing in the 1920s was so simplistically made that you'd have a very hard time spending longer than an hour on a dress unless of course you were doing all kinds of hand embroidery and beading or whatever so reconstructing history right my company we have eight patterns for 1920s dresses and every single one of them is appropriate for afternoon including this one which I'm gonna use it also says evening dress but you see it says afternoon before it says evening so we're gonna go for the afternoon option which has these sleeves which are lovely and good for people who have kind of ugly arms around the elbow like I do and so I flip this over to my convenient backside that tells me all the information that I need or what I need to get together to make this dress. And I have to do this by Saturday morning, so I have to do it from the stuff that's in my stock, and I just moved, so I don't have much. So I look here, and I go, shoot. To make this dress with long sleeves takes five yards of 40-inch wide material. And without the sleeves, it's four yards of 40-inch wide material. And I've got that much which is not quite two and a half yards of 45. Now you may say, Cass, but they wore their dresses really short in the 20s and you could wear it short. And number one, I'm not wearing a dress that short because my legs are ugly. But number two, no, they didn't. <laughs> Don't watch the Gatsby movie. It wasn't the 60s. They weren't wearing mini skirts. Um, the, the whole idea that they're wearing things up to here like Betty Boop, this is a cartoon. This is not reality. So um, the reality is, as you see in this picture, that this dress comes down to mid-calf. Just shows the ankles. Now this is hugely, hugely short if you think about the time period before it. You know, we're just out of the Great War and during the Great War, they're, they're just showing the ankle and now we've got something that's like six inches higher than that. So it, it is short compared to the period beforehand, but it's not as short as we think. Anyway, so I've got this and this is way too short because this is just barely gonna cover my knees. And, um, and that's okay for later in the period but you know, on teenagers, not a teenager, not doing that, ugly knees. So what are we gonna do? Well, the good thing about the 20s, among many good things about the 20s, is that you can change up the geometry a little bit and it's very geometric. And also you see these things on the side, these drapes. Well, in the pattern, it's cut with those bits. On, that, on the side, but I don't have to put those bits on the side. I can put those bits in later because the fact that they're draped is gonna hide any seam that I use to attach them. So I'm gonna cheat a little bit. I'll show you another picture of that because that's kind of important. This might be a better picture. You see that? You see that stuff on the side? So if I turn this fabric long ways, and I fold it in half. It's 45 inch wide fabric, and I'm about 45 inches around, a little less. Now, normally that would be kind of uncomfortable because you'd just be wearing the sheath, but it's not gonna be a sheath dress. It's gonna have these bits on the side. So I can make the sheath and then add the bits on the side later, rather than cutting them all in one, as it says to do in the pattern. So deviating from the pattern in order to make the most use of the fabric. So 
Now I've got plenty. I've got so much that I could go full length with it. And then I have lots extra to put on the side as those flounces. Plus, I have this lovely piece of chiffon that coordinates with it nicely to do my sleeves and also little overbits on the side. So just in case the side pieces don't hang very nicely, chiffon always does. So everything you can hide, you can hide it with chiffon, it works. So I'm gonna get started on that and I'll see you in a little bit. Buy your patterns now! Go to Reconstructing History and buy your patterns now! Now! This website right here, now!